Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. I'm here today with Andrew Harwood, Batman, oh. and we have, we have another in our series of awesome toys yep. for the VSL. Yep. This is the latest from American Forge and Foundry. It's the Model 990 Technician Workbench. Cool. So this is, you know how you were talking about we need like legit steel yeah. for serious automotive work workbenches back here with like shelves and this stuff. Should, this, and should be it. It. this is this is so much better than what we've suffered under for so long. Well, cool. So you want to open it up? Let's show the let's, world. Let's let's open it up if I can find a razor knife. Don't break the shrink wrap. I won't break the shrink wrap. It's labeled all over. Don't break the shrink wrap. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's for the shipping guys. Uh, yeah, okay. it says that customer will refuse shipment and all damages will be a responsibility of the carrier. Okay, then we got to do the green ones. Wants to go that way. Okay. Are you better now? Totally. Okay, so now we get to decrate it. We'll decrate it. This is, this is any, oh, well, that was good. Anytime we get stuff that comes in big wooden crates, it's always a fun time. I think we can just oh, take everything out the, the top. Crab. I broke the shrink wrap. You broke the shrink wrap. Now I'm a carrier. I see why they create it, though, because it's got the, the wooden, or the steel railing around the top. Yeah. And they want to make sure that, you know, one of our students can be the first people to put the big dent in it. Right. You could do that, too. You could, you could just do that, yeah. Okay. All right. So we got pieces. Let's be really gentle and set this right over here. We'll just lay it out. Lanstruccionis. Now I know what I need. The warranty. Oh, just the warranty. And I like number five. The workbench is heavy. Hmm. Two people are required to safely assemble this product. Okay. So we got one and a half. There's really six various, I mean, it's a workbench. It's not rocket science. Yeah. There's, there's entirely six steps to put the whole thing together. We'll set this one, and let's put this over by that one. My guess is these are the two inner shelves. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be fun to grab. You could you could just rip the box apart and do it. You grabbing it yet? Come on now. Well, I had a good grip on it, and then you went down, and there's like a scissor action with my fingers, and I'm allergic to pain. Uh huh. All right, let's. Hey, Batman. Yeah. This workbench is heavy. It requires at least two manual. people. Two people. Two motivated people. Two motivated people. Okay. Are we motivated? I'm motivated. Oh, all right. It's Monday morning. I'm ready to go. All right. All right. Wow, that's a leg. Oh, this is so much nicer than the old benches. It's safety sealed for your protection. Let's keep these handy. This is where everything begins. I had a razor knife. Huh? I had a razor knife. They so. have sticky, sticky shrink wrap. Yeah, they do. They, they buy the good stuff. Since we got Jerry like all turbocharged doing his thing with the, you know, and we're shipping kits and stuff, mm -hmm. I have learned more about shrink wrap and bubble wrap and foam than you ever wanted to know. Had no idea. All right, how about if we take a minute and tidy all this up and we'll have a nice clean workspace when we do the actual I assembly. I think that's a safe, all right, good we idea. We do that. All right, I've got the instructions. Yep. We've got the stuff. We've got a clean, safe work environment. Sure. All right, you ready? Yep. One, unpack components and check to make sure all parts are included. We got the top, two shelves, four legs, and some bolts. We're cool. Two, place workbench upside down on a clean, smooth surface to avoid scratching or damage. 
Let's put it right here. Don't scratch it. I think that's kind of funny because this is, given what this is for, it's going to be scratched in like the first day of its life. Yeah. All right. Three, attach the four legs using the, attach the four legs to the top using bolts and washers provided. Tighten finger tight only. You got bolts, I got legs. All right. We got to figure out how they go. I'm guessing it's just like this. Usually the, f the little feet right. go inside. You, you want the feet inside or outside? Uh, Let's put the feet to the outside. Two to the back, two to the front. All right. Okay. Got to dig out the washers. Yeah, there's no, there's no exploded diagram on this one like there was on the other. I guess it's just personal preference? Uh, I'm guessing it's just use your brain. Are these, are these, oh, there's a nut inside this. Yeah, so, so this is pretty easy. Yeah, do you got bolts and washers? Yeah. Well, and you're set. Give me a bolt. Make sure to put the washers in, you know, flat side in. Yep, yep. Ready for shelf one? Let's do the, well, we got to follow the instructions, hang on. Attach the four legs to the bottom type bolt. Four, attach bottom shelf to legs using bolts. Okay, so we got to do the bottom shelf and then the middle shelf. Okay, attach bottom shelf to legs using bolts and washers provided, finger, tighten finger tight only, and then attach middle shelf with bolts and washers provided, tighten finger tight only, and then using two people, set workbench upright. That's a $5 way of saying flip it over. And check that workbench is level, and then securely tighten all hardware. So you put all together a little wiggly, Stand it up, get it tweaked right where you want it, and then tighten it all down. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got to do the bottom shelf first. You ready? You going that way? All right, we got to flip this over. Well, this is going to be fun. They say you only need two people to do this. Yeah, you only need two people. I'd just like people. to remind you, they said you only need two people to do this. Well, you're just not as creative as I am. I'm creative, but you're going to have to slide me... Uh, couple Hold bolts on. and washers. I'm going to get them into my end and I'll come over to your end. Just slide me a couple. I got, I got skills. Uh, thank you. I like the design of this. Top. Or the bottom shelf bottom, first. Bottom shelf. It's like, wait I'm a minute. I'm with you. I was like, wow, this is cool. I can set that right on my... No, I can't. I can't set that on my knee. It's got to be this one way up here. Okay. Fine. <laughs> this is actually surprisingly easy. Well, it's not like we got it from Ikea. <laughs> This is like, like Ikea with attitude. Give me two more. Please would be nice, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Finger tight for me is run it until it stops just loose and then uh, back it off a turn. That one goes right in. All right. You good? Yep. At least for the next shelf. See, now we're prepared. Yeah. We're practically professionals at this. Do, do, do. Oh. We're going to have to slide it you in. You want to do it that way? Well, how That's else? That's the hard way. I'd have gone in halfway down the side and flipped it. Ah. I don't know. That seemed pretty easy to me. Ah. All right, we both at the same shelf height. 
Huh? Are we both at the same? Yeah, same but point? I gotta loosen this a little more. Finger See? tight's a little too much. That's because you used a wrench. Ah, doing this side first. Then I go bang on that one in a minute. I want to smack it with something, but I don't want to like scratch a nice paint. That's that's well, that was way to stupid. Go. <laughs> Do you need an adult? <laughs> no, I need this boomstick. It also helped if you had the other side level as well. Huh? Helped if you had the other side level as well. I'm sure it would, but I'm just trying to get the first one in. One, it, this gets a lot easier the further you get into it. I'm just trying really, really hard not to cross-thread anything. This is a quiet, delicate operation here. I totally got that side. Can you send me another couple? Thank you, sir. Oh, I totally should have done that side first. That was way easier. All right, we're still not tight, right? We're just finger tight. Just finger tight. All right, so this is the part where we're supposed to flip it over. Yep. All right. You ready? I'm going to die, but I'll give it a shot. All right, let's, uh, let's roll it this way. Oh, he, he came back. Hey, Casey! Come here a minute. How you doing? Oh, you've, you've brought some levels with you. Oh, bring, bring those right on up here. Yeah. How you doing, sir? I'm doing okay. We need you for a moment. We got to flip this over. Thank you. <laughs> ah, that's heavy. Yep. Two people. <laughs> One, two. It's not nearly as heavy as it looks. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. Okay. And see, I'm glad I called in KC. That's pretty close. Right. Um. We're missing a bolt. Why didn't you put a bolt in? I, that I was your bolt. leg. That's where the extra washer came. Uh -huh. Where's it missing a bolt? Right, oh, at, right, right, at, right at your leg. That oh, remember your how leg. you said we had that extra washer? Yeah. Found it. Found I bet it. you had an extra bolt, too. Yeah. There you go. Because like, when, when, when we first put the legs in, I only put one bolt on each end. Oh, wait. Are we messing yeah. around this end, too? No, okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to grab the little level. A little level. Are we plumb? Need that end. Yeah, that's good. The the tops. The the tops. Like almost perfect. But the sides are groovy, so I'm I'm saying it's close enough. This is gonna be the most level workbench we've had ever. Yeah, it's the best one we've ever had. Overlooking the fact that you could, you can't really put this together in a way that isn't pretty much dead on just from its design, because two, two bolts on each corner. Right. And if somehow magically you did put this together totally screwed up, you're still not going to have things roll off because you got the lip around it. Right. This lovely lipped. This lovely lip. This lovely lipped edge. Why do I keep getting the short ratchets? 
Why are you having such problems with this? Well, it's just, I know we have these big, giant, long ratchets. I keep well, getting a little short You don't want to risk over-tightening. Over-tightening? Have you seen how this thing's built? What am I going to do? Strip out the half-inch bolt that holds it together? Maybe. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, see, if we were real professionals, we'd go ahead and get that fancy torque set out and do it by, you know. If we were real professionals, we'd be doing this with an air gun. Somewhere, especially given what this is for, there are guys who assemble this with an impact wrench. And you just, you just know that. Hey, Batman? Yeah. We built a bench. Yeah, that didn't take very long at all. You finished before I did? Yeah. That's what your girlfriend said, too. Uh... Ah! All right. We got a real workbench. Yeah. A legit AFF steel shop bench. Yeah. All right, so we built a bench. Yep. And it's level. And it, it's, solid. this is, yeah, this is nice. I like it. So this is the first of the yep. new benches. Um, the goal is to have one of these in each bay. That'd but this, awesome. this is the bench that goes, it replaces that. The jank, nasty, made of two by fours and plywood bench. The only thing that's got going for it is it's Kuka Orange, which is kind of cool. But that's, that's Robotics Lab, this is VSL. Yeah. So we can put this right in here and we're good to go. Yep. All right, so we want to thank all you guys for hanging out. You can learn more about this bench at the American Forge and Foundry website located right there. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Batman. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.